Hello everyone, I am Sirisha. In this video, I am going to discuss about polygonal approximation using minimum perimeter polygons and boundary segments. Using arbitrary approximations, boundary of an image can be approximated to a polygon. First of all, let us know what a boundary is. The boundary of a region R is the set of pixels in the region that have one or more neighbors that are not in the region R. Uh, if the region R is an entire image, then the boundary will be the pixels of a edge, columns and rows of an image. For exact approximation of a closed boundary, the number of segments in a polygon should be equal to the number of points in a boundary. A polygonal representation of a digital curve can significantly reduce the amount of data needed to be processed while at the same time preserving important information about the curve. The main objective is to approximate the shape of a curve using a polygon whose vertices are specified by a set of points on the curve. Let us see the minimum perimeter polygon of some object boundary. Consider an object boundary and allow the boundary to shrink as a rubber band. This shrinking produces the shape of a polygon of minimum perimeter. Enclose a boundary by a set of concatenated cells. First of all, introduce a grid into this object boundary and join each and every cell which includes a boundary in it. By joining this, we can get the cellular complex. Here this grey color region represents the cellular complex. By joining each and every cell in this cellular complex, we can get the minimum perimeter polygon. Here the accuracy of the polygon can be determined by using the size of a cell. And if the size of the cell represents the pixel, then the error can be between 0 to root over 2D. Here the D will be the minimum possible pixel distance. Here we use the largest possible cell size acceptable in a given application and hence producing MPPs with fewest number of vertices. The cellular approach reduces the shape of the object and close it by the original boundary. Let us see how to approximate the original boundary into a minimum perimeter polygon. Here we have the cellular complex which is represented by the light grey colored region and the inside region is represented with dark grey region and the outside region is white region. Here the white vertices are the convex vertices and black vertices are the concave vertices. The convex vertex is nothing but whose interior angle is 90 degrees. Here the angle is 90 degrees for this white vertex. Hence it is a convex vertex. And the concave vertices are the vertices whose interior angle is greater than 90 degrees. Here the interior angle of this vertex is greater than 90 degrees and hence it is a concave vertex. In order to obtain the minimum perimeter polygon from this, all the convex vertices will remain in the original position whereas the concave vertices have to be mirrored to its diagonal position. Here this is the diagonal position for this concave vertex and this is the diagonal position for this convex vertex and these have to be mirrored over here. Similarly, all the concave vertices have to be mirrored to its diagonal positions and hence we will get this as the minimum perimeter polygon by joining all the mirrored concave vertices and the convex vertices. The observations from the MPP approximation are this minimum perimeter polygon will never intersect itself at any region and every convex vertex of this MPP is always a white vertex but every white vertex of a boundary may or may not be the part of MPP. Here we can observe that this white vertex is part of the boundary but not part of MPP. And every concave vertex of MPP is always a black vertex whereas every black vertex may or may not be part of MPP. And also we can observe that these white vertices will always lie either inside this MPP or on the MPP whereas this black vertices will either lie outside the MPP or on the MPP and always the left and the uppermost vertex it is this of this cellular complex will always be convex vertex. Let us discuss about boundary segments. Boundary segment is one of the way to represent the boundary where a boundary is decomposed into segments. Decomposition reduces the boundary's complexity and hence simplifies the description process. And it is used when there is one or more than one curves which carry some information. And the best way to decompose the boundary is by using convex hull of the region enclosed by the boundary. If a line joining any two points of a region are 
lies inside that region then that region r is said to be a convex set and the smallest convex set of an arbitrary set s is said to be a convex hull convex deficiency is the difference between the convex hull and the convex set s the problem here is digital boundaries tend to be irregular these effects usually result in convex deficiencies that have small meaningless components scattered randomly throughout the boundary and the solution is smooth a boundary prior to partition by traversing the boundary and replacing the coordinates of each pixel by the averaging coordinates of k of its neighbors along the boundary and this works well for smaller irregularities but it is very time consuming and difficult to control and there may be excessive smoothing due to this in case of large values of k and it may be insufficient in some segments of the boundary due to small values of k let us see the boundary segmentation first of all let us consider the boundary of an original object with s set s this is the boundary of an original object here we need to make it a hull so in order to make it a hull we need to connect all these lobes by connecting all these lobes this outer region represents the hull and inner region is the original boundary set s the difference between the hull and this s is the convex deficiency here the shaded region represents the convex deficiency we need to mark each and every transition that is in and out of the convex hull so here these are the partition points the partition points on the original boundary represents the segmented boundary so here the figure c represents the segmented boundary the advantages by this convex deficiency method is it does not depend on the size and orientation of that given region and the convex hull and its deficiency can also be used for describing a region at its bound thank you